Okay, we want to start with a statement about code of conduct. This is a community supportive, engaging, and we want to be sure everyone have a safety environment. We would like to respect to each other. Therefore, when we make a comment, if uh, there are a little bit disagreement with each other, and we still want to use a nice language, we want to strive to make informal activities related to the HDR communities. And all the effort we are making here today is trying to make our community better. This is an event organized using the UW uh, administrator. Therefore, we have a full loop over there. And there's a description about if you see anything you feel uncomfortable, you can follow that rule to submit a report. This activity will bring us all together. Welcome everyone. For the COVID-19, the latest um, prevention plan by the UW law is um, encouraging to have a mask, but if you have any symptoms and we do require you to do a self-test and you should not come to this room if you have a symptom. And what the symptom mean? And there's a definition over there. And there's also a well-defined procedure. If uh, you feel something uncomfortable, please follow this uh, process to make a report. This is be ensure everyone, including you and your other colleagues, all have a safety environment to join this event. We will all stay in this room for this 1.5 days, including our lunch, dinner, we're all happy in this room. There's indeed some other places around. If you want to just take a little bit of fresh air, there are many nice options. Our goal for this meeting is these questions. How can we work together and eventually go from harnessing the data revolution to harvesting the data revolution? And we call it as HDR square. I would like to uh, create the field. He's our co-chair for this meeting, come up with this uh, uh, slogan. We want to build a strong and sustainable HDR ecosystem. It's not just this year, but really we are talking about opportunity for everyone to think together, starting from now and then project to a longer plan. We would like to come up with ideas of community activities or proposals of some workforce could be formulated in order to achieve the goal. And this will be the assignment for everyone. This, this is something we want to think hard for today, during the breakout session, during the coffee break, and then we will come out all together to summarize what our idea is tomorrow. Everyone being familiar with that uh, HDR is really the effort from NSF, try to engage the research community pursue of a fundamental research in data science and engineering. This will be developed a cohesive and federate and national scale approach. This cover quite a wide range of the science engineer. This is realized in three different uh, world category. We have uh, data science corps and tripods and HDR Institute. This is thinking about try to have a, a healthy and cyclic uh, loop, then try to cross link with each other through the fundamental data science theory development. You can come up with a new set of tools and this new set of tool and can bring into the next level of the education training to the next generation, including the expert, how this can actually fit into the discovery of uh, science and engineering. Then this uh, also establishes new need and can provide input to think about the foundation uh, data science development. We got the support from the NSF. This is really nice and general support, allow us to have some resource, bring everyone together to build this uh, ecosystem. SVT3 got this award. We are going to have uh, three different activities. These activities should communicate with everyone what's the best way to use this funding. The idea we have, including the PI meetings, this is uh, supported by the supplement grant, and this is just uh, one of the starting April. SVT3 will also organize the 2024 version, two years from now. We would like to propose the machine learning challenge because we think that's the activities with uh, strong motivation and bring up all different types of the 
ideas can work together and can have a concrete deliverable. We would also like to use the opportunity to enhance post back. We found this has been existing multiple programs and we can try to use a cohesive approach to promote the post back in terms of the training the workforce for the HDR community. As I mentioned, this is starting point. In the next year, ID4 led by Eric will uh, host the next PI meeting. 2024 will swing back to SVD3. So yeah, Eric, would you like to, <laughs> thanks, great. Okay, then there will be a follow up meeting. The idea is that we can try to make the ecosystem strong and forest, then continue to grow and naturally lead to the, this annual event. For 2024, I just want to highlight, and this will be a bigger conference. We would like to, at a point, feel naturally comfortable to engage the colleague outside HDR all join together because uh, we don't want to be an isolated ecosystem, but we would like to go out and have a broader impact. The meeting, and this version, I really feel honored to work with a representative from DSC, Tripods, and Institute. We have uh, seven working meetings, everyone busy, and we got this sort of last minute urgent uh, commission to deliver this meeting. And uh, with everyone's effort, I'm happy that uh, we have a really nice uh, attendance today. We have a very, very strong and also uh, clear guidance from the NSF to make this happen. This make our organization effort easier. We have a really compact agenda today, but if you look at what we organize, we on purpose leave a lot of time for you to communicate with each other during the post session, during a break, and during the working dinner and working lunch. Tomorrow morning will be another opportunity for everyone to hang out another post session. Then right after lunch, we will try to summarize the event. And we invite two keynote speakers, and Juliana and Sarah. They will share with us their view of the current cutting data science research area. Sarah will share with uh, how the large institute could build the community in, in successful ecosystem. There are several activities. I'm not going to go through all this because uh, I have communicated with everyone through the email, but there's one thing I just want to highlight. In the breakout sessions, please think hard about what's the possible activities, or you think there should be some area with workforce deserve to formulate the, um, the group and effort after this meeting. We would like each proposal should have a, a clear coordination plan who will be the candidate coordinators? And what's the milestone timeline we would like this group to deliver? Then we can meet together again for the next year PI meeting. We can review the process. We want to make the plan into action. We, we, we are the, the team started the plan right now. So then hopefully uh, we have a clear structure built by ourselves to follow up. All right. This is a breakout session sign up. We will make this available after finish all the three panel session. We structure the topic based on research, education, outreach, and data cyber infrastructure. We would like to invite everyone, once you finish all the panel session, think about which group want to sign up. We will still in this room, so each table will have a different subject discussions. There are limited seats in each table. We want to be sure it's all distributed nicely. Have a voice from each of the category in each of the subject. This is a just brief introduction. Enjoy the meeting. Before we continue, does anyone have any urgent questions? Yes. This one, and right after the data and cyber infrastructure session, we will send an email all right, and actually you already can uh, down click the link. Now you can only view it, but we will make it editable. Then you can put your name here. Okay, any other question? 
question regarding this. So yes, we did fill out a survey for the speech where we selected sort of different things. Like I guess I was assuming oh. we would be automatically populated into those groups. No, there, there was, there's no automated populate. Yes, thank you for everyone fill in the pre-meeting survey. Those survey help us to settle down the detail of the subject for pre-discussion. But we did not assign based on your survey on purpose because we believe during this uh, whole discussion today, you might have different ideas want to talk. You will join one of the team to talk through the plan. It's possible because we are all in this table. If you want to swing to the other table, it's possible. But I think in order to have a sensible and critical mass of the uh, discussion going on, you probably want to stay there for uh, 40 or 50 minutes, but you can always uh, pass your opinions through other channels. For example, you can contact the corner directly. Tomorrow, we will have an open mic. You can talk any topics beyond just this subject. Other questions? Then we can uh, move to Amy. Thank you.